Tarantula taxidermy. You know what's the worst part about keeping animals? That they will eventually pass away. And this happened to me two weeks ago with my female Caribena versicolor. One of the prettiest spiders on our planet and definitely one of the prettiest tarantulas. And I thought that she really deserved a nice looking final enclosure so I can display her to other people who are visiting my animal kingdom here. And then I remembered that I still have the male in the freezer that I paired her with, so her husband, so to say. And yeah, this is the topic of this video, but before we get to that, how to mount them in the display case, we still need to clean them and to prepare them to be mounted. So we need to get to some tarantula taxidermy. So let's get to the video. So here we have the stuff that we'll use today. First of all, of course, the spiders. Here is the male Caribena versicolor. And here is the female Caribena versicolor that passed away recently. I kept them in the freezer for some time because we want to kill off any bacteria and potentially any parasites that are inside them. For example, fly larvae that already started to spread on the dead carcass. Some rubber gloves because Caribenas have urticating hairs. They work a bit different than, for example, with the Brachypelmas, but still they have urticating hairs. Q-tips, we want to clean up the female tarantula. There is a lot of stuff inside the abdomen. Some pins to mount the tarantula on the styrofoam. Some kitchen tissue, of course, and some pieces of styrofoam so we can mount the dead animal on that. Also handy would be to have a surgical blade or if you are desperate a razor blade something to stuff the abdomen of the female tarantula and some kind of glue I have super glue here so yeah so let's get to work all right let's start with the male all right poor little guy but yeah this is life right when I took him out from the freezer, I put him in the fridge. Now he's at room temperature. What's interesting is that the rigor mortis went away. So we can spread out his legs without any issues. So when it comes to the razor blade, it is not needed with the males. The abdomen of this guy, it already shrunk a bit, but to put it more graphic, inside is like a gelatin or, or, or something like this, like a sponge. There is not much fluids inside or there is not much that can rot away. So we don't need to put the stuff out from his abdomen. So first of all, I stabilize the tarantula at the center. I put one pin at the front between the fangs and two pins between the second and third leg pair so he doesn't move when I will spread him out. Now what I normally do, I take two pins and I catch the guy between the ankle and in most cases this is enough so that he stays where I want his legs to be. Try to be symmetrical and try not to break his ankles. You see, it's kind of symmetrical. Now I can, for example, take the legs here on the behind and spread them symmetrically to the axis in the middle of the tarantula. Now if I see that this leg is twisting a bit inside, I will put another pin and stabilize this leg so it is more pleasing. 
So the last step with the males for me is to spread out the pedipalps and what I like to show is the pedipal bulb here. The reason for this is when I show somebody a mounted tarantula I can show them how to identify if the tarantula is a male or a female and I can compare how the pedipal bulbs look with different species so this is what I like to do. Now I catch the pedipal bulb here, I spread it out a bit. Let's check if this is kind of symmetrical and the second pin inside. And here we have the mounted male tarantula. First tea done. Okay, let's get to the messy part of the video. Here we have the female. You can see she's flexible and everything, but compared to the male, this thing, the abdomen, is full of stuff. Stuff that can go bad if we don't remove it from the abdomen, all the guts and everything. So, this is a very messy step, but necessary if you want to mount tarantulas, dead tarantulas. I make an incision right here in the center. Take your time. We want to leave the upper side intact, but we want to clean out everything that is not necessary. Okay. You can already start to take a Q-tip and take everything out from the inside of the tarantula. Everything needs to be cleaned and try to avoid try to avoid the beautiful coloration of the tarantula. If you wouldn't take this out and you can see there's a lot of stuff inside here. This could go bad and yeah, you would have a ruined mounted tarantula. Now what we do, we use our cotton, we make very small balls of cotton that we stuff inside there, something like this. Let's take the ball, put that inside here. So we start to fill out the abdomen with the cotton balls. Next cotton ball right here. Okay, I think we reached the full capacity. I think this looks okay. Now we need to seal the abdomen and yeah, we will start mounting the tarantula. Okay, this looks good. Time to shape the tarantula and yeah, mount it. I mean, you can see the hairs are already falling off, so we need to be careful. We need to shape the abdomen a bit because there is the stuffing inside. There is probably a different, better method than that. But this one proved quite well for, for my needs. Maybe if you have some better knowledge about stuffing that invertebrates that you could share, would be nice. 
it's not something that that I enjoy because I would rather prefer to have the animals alive but it's better than throwing them into the bin right so here we have the female everything is mounted and now let's just put her and her husband to dry and let's prepare her and his final enclosure all right a few days passed let's check what happened with the tarantulas let's check if they are stiff just like we wanted well not really the reason why the tarantula is still flexible is probably because they were in a freezer and something happened to their muscles so we need to reposition them afterwards still the moisture inside the tarantula probably evaporated so i think it's pretty safe that we can put them to the display case so yeah i'm not that worried about the male here i'm more worried about the female but it looks like everything is fine so far we just need to position the tarantula once more I bought a frame like this, it has a glass front, it's pretty deep and it should fit two tarantulas inside. Okay. okay, we have a potential white background, we can just flip that and it should be alright. This looks not as nice as I would prefer to. How about, how about this one? How much is missing? This will look just fine, so... Yeah, we will use that. No glue comes through, that's a good sign. Here should be the first tarantula. Now 30 centimeters from that should be the second one. And let's check if the position is correct. So here we have the female. Now let's take the second tarantula. Here we have the male. Put a dot here. Center that. And there we go. I want to show the bulbs. So yeah, let's extend them. And no, <laughs> squeeze that right down. Nothing falls down. There we go. We just need a label. I thought about adding the egg sac, but that looked pretty bad. So yeah, we'll stick just to that. I still need to make a label, a nice looking label and to show that this is a female and this is a male, but Let's check how this will look and here we go. I think this is a fitting memory for those two spiders. So yeah, here we have the final enclosure for our two Caribena versicolors, the female on the left and the male on the right. And I really think that they deserve that kind of treatment because Caribenas are absolutely stunning if you don't have one. What are you waiting for? They are absolutely amazing tarantulas. But one last step that we need to do. Here we go. There we have it. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing, ring the bell, leave a comment what you like, what you want to see in future videos. And as always, thank you for watching. Tarantohala out.